Hey guys, Mark Spect the Comics here, and I'm back with a couple of unboxings. Um, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you stay, uh, you know, on top of when I put out some content. So, um, going into the uh, the packages I was talking about, I got two packages. One is from a contest winning that I got from Metarog Roger during his uh, thousand subscriber live. Uh, you know chat and then the other one is a scout comics mystery box unboxing so um let's start with uh rogers first and then we'll uh go on to the uh, scout comics after all right so i'm sure a lot of you guys were uh, present during rogers um live uh chat it was actually a great time there was a lot of content creators on there we had a blast we chatted Showed some comics, did some trivia, and that goes back to how I uh, won the contest. I ended up answering a trivia question by um, Rayman. Uh, if you know, Rayman's local to my area. We live in New England. And uh, if you watch a lot of his uh, content, you notice that he has the little green lantern there right on the top where he posts his books. And the question was basically... What's the object that was on top of his um, display? And it was the lantern. So I uh, ended up winning a couple of books from uh, from Roger. And I'm going to go ahead and show them. So here's the package. So right on this Spectre. <laughs> so opening it up. Opening it up already. Uh, save some time, you know. So it says on here. Hi, David. Congratulations on your win, buddy. It was great to see you on the live stream. Thanks for your support. Your pal, Roger. All right. So if you guys were present during the um, live stream, you probably already remember what the books were. But if you weren't, I'm going to show you. Because they were really cool books. So he has some pull tabs on here, which is nice. All right. And I get a nice little uh, Gemini shipper out of it because from time to time I just send out some books, do some AOKs and whatnot. So um, I like to recycle these and send them back out, you know. So, uh, all right. So there were two books. First book was, let's see, New Mutants Special Edition. I believe this was uh, an annual. So I forget what I forget what the other book was, but um, uh, I can't remember offhand. But if you, if you go back, you can probably uh, see what it was. But it was between this book and the other book. So I had a feeling that taking the, the one of the other books book that I don't personally have I don't have any mutant books really in my collection I figured I might get something good on the back so uh, I took a chance picked this up and on the back was uh, infinity gauntlet number one so um, I've talked about this book quite a bit it's, you know it's one of my favorite runs of all time that I've read and um, it's good to have a raw copy back in my collection because I for the longest time I haven't had one I had my uh, my personal copy I've had graded and I'll show that off real quick ah. I've had this copy in my collection for quite some time infinity gauntlet number one CGC 9.8 you see here the bottom I got that signed recently last year by Joe Rubenstein and then the top by uh, if you can see that closely and that's George Perez so um, I'm excited to get this book back in my collection again raw so I can actually pick it up and read it again so that was really cool thanks a lot Roger I appreciate it um, definitely gonna pick this up and read it again probably this weekend actually <laughs> but um Hopefully, the plan is one day to get this um, re cracked open and get it signed by uh, Jim Starlin, and then I'll be, I'll have all three of the signatures on there that I need. So that'd be that's pretty cool. So uh, thanks again, Roger. I really appreciate it. That was awesome. 
And then, uh, now moving on to the Scout Comics. They send it in this big box. It says, uh, Comic Impressions. Um, so basically, the story behind this um, mystery unboxing was during President's Day weekend, they had this big sale. And if you were, um, if you had bought books from them previously, they basically kept your email address in their news in their file, and they sent out this big newsletter. So it was their first newsletter that they sent out from the company standpoint, and they sent out this promo code, and basically they had 50% off their whole store, and that included exclusives, regular store comics. Um, signatures, apparel, and uh, mystery boxes. So this was the deluxe mystery box. They had two tiers on there. It was the deluxe and the gold. The gold was already sold out, so I ended up buying the deluxe. And uh, the deluxe was $60. And if you go onto their website now, they've since been both sold out. So a little brief on the uh, Scout Comics deluxe box. It includes... 11 Scout comics, including one rare exclusive store and website variants, stickers, swag, and at least one autograph book with an official Scout COA. I'm reading this right from their website. So I said, I haven't yet opened up the box yet, so um, let's see what we get. All right. And uh, one thing I did mention, I did send them a note prior to paying um, in their notes. You, you can free text notes and whatnot in there. And uh, I told them that I was looking forward to reading the Cannabis book. It just came out a couple of weeks ago. They kept on pushing the, um, the release out you know, for whatever reason. But um, I knew I wasn't going to be able to pick this up at my LCS because they don't order a lot of small you know, indie, indie books. So... I told them if I if you guys could put that, I'd really appreciate that. So let's see if uh, if they did that. All right. All right. And uh, just to um, state before I start, the um, price of the deluxe box was sixty dollars. So after the discount, which was fifty percent off. 30 bucks plus shipping it came over to just over 40 bucks so I was what I thought it was a really good price so um, all right got the package and it actually look at that right on top they actually put out the the cannabis number one right on the top they didn't have to do that so I was actually very appreciative and I'm gonna shout out to Scout Comics and their um and their support team for putting that out there I really appreciate it and they actually wrote on there thanks for your support can't wait to see what you got in your box, in your Scout Deluxe Mystery Box. That's written from them, Scout Comics. So thanks a lot for doing that. I really appreciate it, guys. All right. Got to try to open this up carefully. I don't want to bend the actual comic because it's taped right to the outside of the box. Oh, sorry about that noise. All right. So if you guys have never seen their um, deluxe package before, it looks like this. There you go. Nice label. Let's open these up and see what I got. All right, so starting right from the top, to show you what it looks like. It's nicely packaged. They got some stickers right on top, so that's really cool. So got this solar flare sticker. Nice. A little stabity bunny, stabbitybunny.com sticker. Uh 
Oh, look at this. A little solar flare, a little koozie. Put some nice cold beverages in there. That's really nice. You can never have too many of these. All right. Opening up. We got a. Oh, nice. We got a little solar fl uh, flare, little pin. Looks like you can um, hook up some stuff there. Maybe a little keychain or whatnot. That's actually really cool. So they throw in some cool apparel in here, and you know, little little knickknacks, which I really appreciate. All right. So in no particular order, I'm gonna start from the bottom of the package. Split them up a little bit, split them up, put them on top. Have no idea what's what, and we'll go from there. All right. So, first book. Let's see. Tinkers of the Wasteland, number two. Not familiar with this uh, series whatsoever. So Raul Trevino. It's actually a really, really cool, really cool cover there. I like that. That's nice. All right. Next book. This book I am familiar with, it's Infernoct number three. I've seen this before on their website. Looks pretty interesting. Looks by Amina Elwell and Eli Powell. And you can't go wrong with these dark covers. I love these covers. All right, next book. This is uh, from the world of Stabity Bunny, Shadow Play. And this is an ash can. Yep. Scout Comics ash can. Cool. Very cool. I have not seen this book before. Nice. All right. Doing pretty good so far. All right. Next book. This is, looks like it says Garyon. Book number one. The Chrysalis and the Stone. This is, I think, uh, let's see, story and art by T Tom Linter. Not familiar with these books. Let me know if you guys in the chat, in the comments down below, if you guys are familiar with any of these comics. Definitely very interesting. All right, so this looks like the um, the signed book. So it's uh, Garyon number six. Signed looks like on... April 18, 2019, uh, signed by artist creator Tom Lintern. Okay. There you go. And this is, like I said, Garyon number six. And it's, there you go. Let's see if I can get this up here. Signed right there. Very cool. All right. Next book, this is uh, Scout Comics number one. It looks like a free issue. Scout Comics presents. Very cool. Looks like it's gonna have you know a few stories in there. See some Stabby Bunny in there, so that's pretty cool. I'll have to check this out and read it. All right. Oh, here we go. This is a, a number one. Infernoc number one. Nice. So I can start right from the beginning and re read it and check it out. All right, next book looks like the Cyber Spectre number two. So this is one of the um, the the uh, set the exclusive variants. I believe that's what they said on there. It comes with uh, a rare exclusive star variant. I'm pretty sure this is what this one is. It says on here the um, the secret variant. Not familiar with the uh, Cyber Spectre, so I'm gonna have to check this out. It says the Haunting Ground Part Two of Two. Very nice. All right, this book I am familiar with. This is Graveland Number Two.
by uh, Massimo Rossi and Gabriel Barra Nunez. Very nice. All right, we're getting down to the nitty witty. We've got two books left. This is Little Guardians, issue number two, by Ed Cho, Lee Trelois, and Dan Tinker. There we go. And the last book. Oh, this is cool. This is um, a Comic-Con exclusive. This is Graveland, issue number one. And you can see here at the top, it's the uh, New York Comic-Con exclusive. Very cool. So yeah, that's a, it's really cool. I got a great assortment of books. Um, they threw in some nice swag in there, which I really appreciate. And for the price, you really can't beat it. And, um, you know, the other the other added, you know, perk to it is I sent them the note about the uh, cannabis number one, and they responded, which, you know, as a, you know, person who loves to read Scout Comics books, it's really appreciated because sometimes you just can't get those books at the LCS. So I was very excited. I thought that was money well worth it for the um, deluxe box that I picked up. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, and also along with the uh, Metarogs um, books I ended up winning as well. So uh, let me know. I think this was well worth it. And um, thanks again to Scout Comics for hooking me up. Until next time, it's Mark Spectre Comics. Out.